Emily, road conditions are a major concern from now through tomorrow morning. Now, 6 News Marlo Lundak is keeping an eye on the roads out in the metro. She joins us now live from the 6 News Storm Tracker with the latest. Marlo, what are you seeing? John and Lauren, we're back here in the Storm Tracker tonight. We are heading west on Dodge. We are currently stopped, stopped at 69th and Dodge. Let me give you a look at what we're seeing. The, the conditions out here have significantly worsened from earlier. We were out driving around around 630 to 730 and it wasn't too bad. That's when it was really picking up. There was some heavy snow coming down then. It kind of stopped for a little bit and now those flurries are starting to come back. The roads are really slick. Again, we're on Dodge. This is a really busy street and the, the conditions really aren't great. There's snow packed onto the ground. It's it's slick visibility. We've talked a lot about that wind. It's really playing a role as we're traveling around town here throughout the evening. We've seen plenty of snow plows. You can see one driving by now. We know that they're going to be out all night long putting sand on the roads. We know that they can't use salt. They typically use salt, but it is going to be too cold. That salt only works when it's um, above 15 degrees, so it's not going to work tonight. They're putting sand on the roads to keep it to keep that traction up. Again, if you're out driving around, just take it really slow. Give yourself plenty of time. It's been hard when we've come to these stops. It takes us a minute to stop, so give yourself plenty of space between you and the car in front of you. If you don't have to be out, definitely stay home. But we'll be tracking the conditions again throughout the night and, of course, on daybreak. So stick with 6 News. Live in the Storm Tracker, Marlo Lundak, 6 News. Well, there were several crashes across the metro today, including one at 84th and Frederick. Uh, someone hit a power pole. And it did lead to a power outage impacting more than 1,900 customers, all of whom now have their service restored. Also of note, several institutions and organizations are closed tomorrow, some for the rest of the week. Henry Dorley Zoo is closed until noon on Friday. And when the snow is finished falling in Omaha, you have 48 hours to get your sidewalk cleaned up. You could be facing a fine if you take too long.